Hi, this is Josh of the Fun Times Guide, and I want to talk a bit about rare pennies. A lot of folks ask me about rare pennies. They want to know what their Lincoln Wheat Cents are worth, or their Indian Head pennies, or their double dies. And um, we'll talk a bit about that today. Uh, just quickly, I want to make sure everybody knows that while old coins are worth a lot of money, not all of them are worth lots of money. And uh, most of the old Lincoln cents you find in circulation, you know, those that have the uh, two wheat stalks or the wheat ears on the reverse are rather common in the relative sense and worth three to five cents a piece. But having said that, not all old pennies are worth just three to five cents a piece. Um, in fact, we're gonna talk briefly about the more valuable types of coins you could hopefully find in circulation. And the piece that a lot of folks are always itching to find is the 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent. Now, it was made in the first year of the Lincoln Cent series, 1909, at the San Francisco Mint, which is the S Mint mark that you see just under the 1909 date, and contains the initials of the coin's designer, Victor David Brenner, or VDB. On the reverse side, or tail side of the coin, just under the wheat stalks. Very center, right in there, which you probably can't see too well in this video, but they are there in very small font. Just 484,000 of those coins are made, and maybe 20,000 exist today. Uh, a lot of those coins being lost to circulation and fires and being buried and all those things. Uh, it's worth 500 to 1,000 dollars. Um, again, five hundred to a thousand dollars. I should say, make sure that's clear. Not five hundred thousand dollars, but five hundred to a thousand dollars. Another uh, important rarity is nineteen fourteen D Lincoln Zen. A little over a million were made, and they're worth between one hundred and twenty five and one hundred and sixty dollars in well worn condition, like this year. Uh, better versions are worth closer to three to five hundred dollars, with light wear and um, some pieces that have no wear. The uncirculated versions. Some of them pull five figures. I mean, these are very scarce coins in uncirculated condition. A lot of times people want to know what their 1922 pennies are worth because it's well known by collectors anyway that there is a certain variety, a rare variety, that does not show the D mint mark, which you would normally find, as in the case of this 22D here, just under the date. This variety does not show a mint mark at all. It's called 1922 Plain, or No D Lincoln Penny. It's a variety that was created sort of by accident when some damage was done to the die that strikes the design on this coin. Well, what happened was one of the mint employees decided to get rid of the damage by polishing away the marks that were on the die. And in doing so, he or she obliterated the D mint mark that would be seen under, under the date. And thus, there's no D seen here. Um, these pieces are worth between $350 and $1,000 in well-worn condition and uh, up to five figures in uncirculated condition. The 31S Lincoln Cent is a, one of the more common rarities, which sounds kind of kind of uh, uh, oxymoronic, as it were. Uh, common in that it's not as rare as the 09S VDB Lincoln Cent or the 22 No D. But nevertheless, it's scarce, with only 866,000 examples being made, uh, less than a million. And um, this piece here is in about uncirculated condition. It's worth about $100. Uh, Well-worn varieties or examples are worth $50 to $75 uh, in most cases. And then we keep on going through here, and we see the steel cents, which are actually very common coins. Um, some folks confuse the steel cents or rather the steel cents and the bronze version of the 1943 penny, which were struck by accident when some of the bronze planches from 1942 were left in the hoppers in 1943 and got stamped with the 43 design. Now the bronze 43 steel cents are worth over $100,000 a pop. These are worth maybe $2 a piece. You can tell a rare 43 uh, cent from a uh, common one. If your 43 cent sticks to a magnet like these would made from steel, it's worth maybe a buck, 15 cents if it's worn. If it does not stick to a magnet, like these 42 pennies would not stick to a magnet, you could be looking at a coin worth six figures. So again, the 43 bronze cents are the rare ones and the steel cents are the common examples. Now, looking at this uh, page here in my Lincoln Cent collection, you probably notice there's one coin that you don't see here 
And that's 1955 doubled dye Lincoln scent. Well, it's not in this album, but I do have an example here. This piece I bought individually uh, some time back. And it's a example of the 55 doubled dye, which is by most accounts, the most popular ever variety ever made in US coin history. Um, you might be able to make out here in this video that there's some doubling on the, on the date in the Liberty inscription and in Godby Trust. That was caused when the hub, which imprints the design for the die, the die which strikes these coins individually, the hub impressed the design upon the die for this coin twice and at different angles, which you can make out with a doubling here in the design. Now, about 20,000 of these coins were made. Um, when they came out in the mid-50s, they were very popular. They caused quite a stir, actually, uh, among both collectors and non-coin collectors. And because of that, uh, uh, early uh, press this coin got became very popular, both inside the hobby and beyond. And for that reason, it's a, it's a very high-demand coin um, and is worth about $1,000 and up, even in worn condition. Some of the other double dies that people ask about would be the 1972, which shows some doubling in the obverse and the date and inscriptions. The 1983 double die, which shows on the reverse or tail side, some of the doubling here in the inscriptions, the Pluribus Unum, United States of America. And then finally, the 84 double die, which has on the obverse doubling of Lincoln's earlobe, which you probably can't make out here. Maybe you can see it right in there. Under his primary earlobe, you see a second earlobe. And these pieces are worth between 125 and 300 uh, bucks a pop. Some other rare pennies to be looking for, which you may not find in circulation, but you might find in estate sales or in older collections. Um, Indian cents, which are worth about a dollar or two a piece uh, in well-worn condition for common dates. This is an 1859 in um, uh, much better condition, XF, extremely fine worth maybe 120 bucks in this case. Um, but um, one piece you should be looking for is the 1877 Indian head scent, which even in well-worn condition is worth over $500. And uh, not a piece you'll probably find in circulation, but again, be looking for uh, in estate sales and old collections. Maybe you have an uncle or an aunt the past collection down and maybe you'll find one in there. The Flying Eagle scent, which you see here an example of, and we're a common example of, uh, the rarest of them all would be the 1856 uh, proof Flying Eagle scent. The 1856 being a pattern coin that's worth a few thousand dollars even in, in worn condition. And then there are various large scents, which you see an example of here, more recent. And I say recent in quotes, it's 1853. This coin was made, the last being made in 1857. But uh, there are many, many rare large scents including the first year types made in 1793. Um, and those are worth well over two to $4,000 a pop, even in well-worn condition. So this is a, a quick review of some of the rare pennies that you might hope to find in circulation or through other means. And I wanna thank you for your time watching this video. Again, this is Josh with the Fun Times Guide, and I uh, wish you happy collecting.